everybody welcome back to my channel happy valentine's day i hope you all are enjoying your day if you do celebrate and if you don't no problem but if you are celebrating valentine's day then i think you would definitely love this video because it has to do with getting sexy making yourself feel beautiful and lipsticks hello <laughs> but not only that this is a collaboration video and i'm collabing with my girl house of glam tv who's also known as makeup by diva So we decided to collab to come to you with some of our favorite lippies as well as a Valentine's Day collaboration. So we just threw them both together. I'm going to do my first combo, which I'm going to let you guys know what it'll be. It is my favorite. It's the ColourPop Lady, this is Lady, right? The Lady Pencil with the MAC Viva Glam 3. And this is a matte. I love the ColourPop pencils. The ColourPop pencils are $5, and I believe the MAC Lippies, um, the Viva Glamps are $17 a piece. So I'm going to come back and show you guys with that. So right now, this is the Lady Lip Pencil from ColourPop on my lips. So I line basically the majority of the exterior of my lips, and then I fill it in a little bit. And then I'm gonna take the Viva Glam 3 and go right over top of it. This is one of my favorite, favorite combos because it's just so natural, like, mm, I love it. I probably should have saved this one for last because this is the one I'm gonna probably wanna keep on for this look that I have going on today, which is. The next one will be the ColourPop Lippy Stick. This one is Hollywood Boulevard and it is the Matte X Lippy Sticks. This is my favorite, favorite uh, color to use. This lippy is another matte X. This is the Chateau Lippy Stick from ColourPop. It is beautiful. I mean, I really love this color. It's beautiful, but this is one way you can rock it. The next way I'm gonna show you how I personally rock it is also by putting like a lighter color in the center of my lips. So this one is Hype Girl, and this is just their regular matte lippy stick. Oh, you can even tell because it's a uh, color all over it. It's my third lip combination, or even if you just want to wear, like I said, the Chateau by itself. Both of them are really nice. Whether it's a combination or you wear it separately, I really, really like the Matte X um, formula, but I really just enjoy using ColourPop, one, because they're inexpensive, two, because they have so much variety, so much variety, especially when you're new to the scene and you don't want to spend too much money. You're getting a real good bang for your buck. But yeah, I really like this combination. Let me know what you think. The next lip combination is another MAC combo, but this one is uh, fairly new to me. So I can't tell you that it's like this extreme favorite of mine, but I thought it would be nice and appropriate for Valentine's Day. Um, this is the MAC Taraji Viva Glam Collection, and it's supposed to be a raspberry fuchsia kind of color. I really, really, really like it. I mean, I like both of them. I like how the lip glass looks because I like the sparkle in it. It's not too glittery or anything like that. It just has this real nice shimmer to it. I really like this lip glass. And I just lined my lips with this um, Wet n Wild Cold Eyeliner Pencil. This one is in the color Simmer Brown now. I think last time I used, no, that's the one I used, Simmer Brown now, which is this pencil right here. And I picked this one up from the Dollar Tree. But yes, I really like this. I think it's really pretty. You don't have to line it. I just did that because um, sometimes the color 
pink or a hot pink, something like that, can be too, too bright. It could be a little bit too, you know, um, spotlight. So I wanted to kind of tone it down a little bit, but if you don't mind being really bold, then you don't have to line your lip at all. And um, I've only put the lip glass in the center of my lip, but this matte is a bit of like a creamy kind of matte. It's not a real, um, it's not a real matte. To, in my opinion. All right, I'll be coming to you with the next combo and then that'll be it. <laughs> actually a singular product and this is the wet n wild color icon matte liquid lipstick and don't be a plum plum and this one was part of their full um their full collection i forgot what the name of it was but that's where i got this one from that full collection and i love this color this was what really put me on to falling in love with the um liquid lipsticks by wet n wild just a little quick review on this Wet n Wild liquid lipstick formula. It is really, really comfortable. I mean, when it dries down to a matte, it's dry, but it's not to the point where you feel like the Sahara Desert has taken over your lips. It is nothing like the ColourPop Ultra Matte. I feel like the Ultra Matte, sometimes we forget that it's Ultra Matte. So it's not just a matte, but it's Ultra Matte. So they, they have it to where it's really, really dry when it's you know when it um dries down to its finish it's really dry sometimes we forget about that and some of them are not all like that some of their darker colors i feel like they're more comfortable than the lighter colors and i personally prefer the ultra satins and the lippy sticks the matte x the cream sheens the glosses as well yeah that's enough about that long story short i will definitely definitely be repurchasing the liquid lipsticks by wet n wild because i love them they're four dollars and 99 cents and there really is no complaints for me you get long wear and the color payoff is really nice it did take me about three um swipes to get the color payoff you should definitely let it dry like semi dry not fully dry but dry halfway through and then go over it and do another coat if that's what you're going to do but yeah love the wet and wild liquid lipstick formula it is the best that i have tried definitely make sure you go over to house of glam tv check out her video check out what combinations she's come up with what singular um lippies she's came out with that she likes for valentine's day or just likes for a you know a sexy night out or a date night or uh, i just want to get kind of fancy you know sometimes it don't have it doesn't have to always be a particular specific holiday for you to go ahead and just get fancy you know what i'm saying do it because that's what you want to do love on yourself um what else did i want to tell you guys that's it. I just want to thank you all for your support. I hope you all have an amazing Valentine's Day, whether you have a Valentine sweetheart or whether you're single and you are your own Valentine. Enjoy it. Drink you some wine if you're grown, you know, over the age of 21. <laughs> like me. <laughs> no. I cracked myself up. All right, y'all. Thank you all for watching. Bye.